yeah, that was that was the fourth of the treasures that we need to reveal the shrine. And yeah, we're going on to the f final level now. Th this final level especially gave me like a lot of grief as a kid. Although I, f I actually found I didn't have that much trouble with it um, on my test playthrough just recently. Uh, so yeah, it was probably more just be me being terrible at video games back then rather than any Game Gear issues, but, uh... Although, with that said, it could it's also possible that I just have the game committed to, like, muscle memory at this point, because, like I said, I played... I, I had only a few Game Gear games, so I played a lot of the few games that I had, so, uh, even though I haven't played this game, or I hadn't played this game in, like, oh, goodness. Wow. It's probably been close to 20 years since the last time I played this game. That's kind of ridiculous. Or, I mean, pro probably closer to 15 than 20. Probably like 16 or 17 years since the last time I actually picked up my Game Gear and uh, played any of my old Game Gear games. Wow, that's kind of, that's kind of nuts. I feel old now. But uh, anyways, here we are on the final level. And it's actually a pretty cool one, actually. I don't know what these weird... Or actually... Oh. That's a crab. I never noticed that. I always thought this was just some kind of like weird elephant nosed mouse thing, but no, if you like pause the game and actually look at it, it's a crab. It's just, it has one giant claw. I believe, I, I believe that's called a fiddler crab or something for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, for some reason, my. Do you guys ever find that when it's like you, you see a sprite of like an enemy or something in a game and just your brain just fails to parse it as like what it's supposed to look like? It's like, uh, I, I, I don't know, I can't think of another example, but yeah, for some reason, though, those crab enemies just always registered in, uh, in my brain as like this, like, weird, one-eyed, elephant nose mouse thing. And I don't know why that is. There's, there's actually other examples of that, like in Mega Man 4, the, uh, what's his name? I can't remember, the, the Cossack 1 boss is apparently supposed to be like a moth or something, but I've always pictured him as like this, uh, I, I, I've always pictured it as like a face with like a like a circular mouth and like fat cheeks or something. And there, there's like other examples of that, where I, it's just like my brain parses sprites as like looking different than they're supposed to. Actually, I think yeah, there are other Mega Man bosses I could probably think of that are examples of that if I tried to think of them. What's with the frogs? Or is that supposed to be a frog? And yeah, speaking of which, is that supposed to be like a frog or a duck in the background? I could see, kind of see it going both ways there. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, you can you can actually kick against the walls here, which was you could I remember you could do that in the Ducktales games to sort of find hidden treasures sometimes, but uh, I've never found any hidden treasures. Ah, oh, that sucks. And, and yeah, I'm right here at the bottom of the screen here, so it's like even the... Yeah, even the higher resolution of the Master System screen doesn't save me from the, these cheap, spiky hits in this section of the level. Oh well. I mean, you know, not every game can be perfect. Actually, really, not any games can be perfect. So I'm, I'm guessing that's a duck in the background based on what I know about what's coming up at the end of this level. <laughs> so anyways, that's that's actually that's the that's actually just the first half of the uh, round five here. So uh this is yeah, this is definitely the longest level in the game. Still pretty short. Like yeah, this game is definitely easy to clear in under an hour. Even your first time through, I would imagine. But uh Yeah, the oh th th by the way, this right here the, uh, probably my favorite, uh, yeah, the, ba the background music in this section is probably my favorite in the whole game. And I forgot to mention this, yeah, this whole game has, uh, really good music. I, or not super good music, but pretty good music, I think. And actually the, the Master System and the Game Gear in general, I think, uh, really awesome sound chip on those systems. Probably, probably my favorite 8-bit sound chip. In fact, I absolutely love, uh, Game Gear and Master System chip tunes, and it, it's always made me kind of sad that the the, the Nintendo, uh, yeah, the NES and the Game Boy seem to get more love in that regard. I really wish there were more chip tunes, like modern chip tunes, uh, using the 
Master System sound set, because, yeah, I don't know. I, I just like it better than any other 8-bit sound chip. I don't know why. Yeah, especially... So, yeah, this game has pretty good music. Uh, and yeah, this level in particular has uh, probably the best... Uh, yeah, best track in the game, I would say. In fact, yeah, I, I'd go so far as to put this on the great music in video games playlist, for sure. Now, this, this part is... This is probably the part is... I'd imagine if you're trying to do a no-hit run of the entire game, that little platform ride right there would probably be the toughest part of the game. That and maybe the final boss. I don't know. Um, so... Yeah, this is actually... Kind of, and again, I'm, again with the sort of the changing things up as far as the gimmicks and stuff, um, this is... Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing here on this level, which is... Uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty good final level. I don't know why it gave me so much trouble as a kid. I remember it took me, like, a really, really long time to uh, get through this stage as a kid, and I don't really remember why. Or there, there's yeah, in particular, there's a section coming up with some moving platforms, and uh, uh, yeah, this section right here, this screen right here, took me like a billion tries to get through as a kid, and I don't really know why. It's like, yeah, unless maybe I just have the game committed to muscle memory or something at this point. But when I went, when I played through it again, like I was dreading playing this on my test playthrough and on the Game Gear, and. Yeah, when I got to it, there was just I just had no trouble at all with this section. Th this part in particular, it's like yeah. The, if you don't time that just right, you can end up kind of screwed. But I mean, yeah, you just like okay, so you get screwed over by that once, and then you know for next time, okay, fall off forward instead of backwards there, and then you're golden. Anyways, here we are at the quote unquote boss of this stage, and. Uh, yeah, there isn't actually even a boss this time. He's just... You're just sort of riding on a raft, and there's, like... Yeah, the chase music playing for some reason. Which is kind of... I, w I don't know. An arbitrary arbitrary way of uh, calling this a boss fight. Like, really, you could have the exact same... Whoops! Ah, oh, screwed. Okay. I actually... That was my fault there. I reached up to, s to scratch my... Scratch my nose there. So, okay. That was kind of dumb. Um... Oh, um, so, okay. There's something really, really freaking stupid with this boss fight. That's, uh, that we were just coming up to before I died there. Holy shit! I have never noticed that. Oh my god. Okay, so I'll, I'll comment on that in a second. Wow! Wow! Okay, so it's not that shitty. Anyways, um, okay. Wow, that's actually really cool. So, okay. Well, we're coming up here on instant death. I am about to die and there's nothing I can do about it. And no, look at that duck. Just look at that duck porch, that picture of the duck in the background. He's got no arms. And I just fell off the, my raft there. And there's nothing I can do about that. That's just a huge pit, and you die, and there's nothing you can do about it. That is just unavoidable death. Um, or at least, by the time you get to that point, there's nothing you can do about it. So it's kind of a puzzle here, and I was going to say that it's bullshit, because there's no reason for you to suspect that there's a puzzle going on here. But there actually is. So if you look at those look at those duck pictures in the background, and you can see that guy's pointing down. Because that's where you need to go. You need to fall fall down on that first hole there. And that's actually kind of crazy. Oh, and these guys are pointing at you to go up. I, I have never noticed that. I always thought it was just like a random bit of bullshit where it's just like, yeah, for this one particular pit, you need to fall in it. And... Yeah, you just need to fall in this one particular pit for no good reason, and you just have to guess, and it's just stupid. But yeah, the ducks are actually pointing uh, the way to go, although it's actually kind of pointless, because that's actually the only pit you need to fall in on this quote-unquote boss fight. Wow, that's that's amazing. I have never noticed that. So yeah, yeah, the ducks... So the ducks point in the background point down when you need to fall down pits, and they point up when you need to jump over them. Except it's kind of pointless because there's only one that you need to fall down. That's actually pretty cool. I was about, I was prepared to complain about how stupid this boss fight is. Yeah, that's that. But Donald's expression is right now. That's how I was prepared to feel about this boss fight, quote unquote. This chase scene, I'll call it. But uh, yeah, that's actually kind of neat. Although, yeah, it would be a bit neater if you actually had to fall down a pit more than once, because... 
Yeah, I always thought it was just that one special exception. It's like, you gotta fall down this pit for some stupid reason, because... Video games. But, uh, yeah, there was actually a clue there that I just never noticed. That's really cool.